हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू दी चैनल होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग ग्रेट पैक द लैगेजेस आई बी ट्रैवलिंग टूमोरो टू इंडिया आई वॉज इन मॉलडीज फॉर लास्ट ऑलमोस्ट एट डेज नाउ आई हैड कम फॉर अ शॉर्ट ट्रिप दैट्स ऑफिशियल नॉट एज अ टूरिस्ट आई वर्क इन मॉलडीज सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन फ्यू थिंग्स विच आई हैव गॉट लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन फ्राम पीपल कमिंग टू मॉलडीज फॉर टूरिज्म Uh, I will explain the difference between uh, me coming as a work visa holder and you coming as a tourist. There are some differences which you can understand, and other than that, I'll explain you exactly what are the things that you would need to do when you are going out of Maldives. Coming into Maldives, I have explained it in my video when I travelled from Bangalore to Malay. Uh, now returning to India. See, Malay, capital of Maldives. Uh, many people want to come to resort spend one or two days in uh, inhabited island like male or hulumale or mafushi then they want to go back to india or their home country now few thing complications are there because uh, the regulations are changing yesterday there was an announcement that from tonight 8:30 there would be a night curfew sort of thing uh, nobody would be allowed to go out during that time most of the things are uh, very like unpredictable uh, things are changing now it is the cases in male has gone up so they have started testing more and good news is vaccination has started in fact i was supposed to take my first dose of vaccine yesterday uh, but i am going out of maldives and i won't be able to return uh, for my second dose so i have skipped that i'll be taking it mostly in india my other colleagues are getting their vaccination some of them got yesterday today others would be getting Uh, it's really good sign uh, people are getting vaccinated i feel that we would be safe in coming months much safer than what we are now anyway now coming to the topic of this video is what are the things that you need to do before you return to your home country i would be more talking to you with my experience traveling to bangalore first thing is you need a confirm ticket to return the airlines ticket then 72 hours before you travel you need to register yourself on the indian website the link of that website is in the description you need to register yourself give the details of uh, where you are landing all those information including the copy of your passport and few other things they have asked you can go through the form and submit it it should be done at least 72 hours before you board the flight the second form what you need to submit is for or the maldives immigration the imuga website the same form which you submit when you entered maldives now you need to click the departure option and fill in the form all you need to attach is your latest photo and the other most important thing what you need to travel is a covid uh, test result pcr test result to return to india there are lots of confusion some people say that they can test it once once they return to india see i would suggest that you take the test from maldives itself that has to be done 72 hours not more than 72 hours like the best thing is like one, one or two days before you travel i did it yesterday and i got the results within i think 3 4 hours i got the result i got the email uh, luckily i am negative uh, i did it from a lab in male it's called med lab they charge me 1000 rupees i am a work visa holder so i think uh, there would be some difference of rates for tourists I heard that some resorts are charging like almost Indian money 12000 rupees for a covid pcr test they collect the sample at the resort itself you don't need to come to male or hulu male they send these samples and that could be the charges what you have to pay to the resort but if you are a person somewhere near to male and you are able to come and give your sample then you can get it done for 1000 maldivian rupees which is roughly equivalent to 4000 plus indian rupees In India, it's 800 rupees when you do from a lab uh, in India in a private lab. Uh, but what I heard is that uh, suppose you don't take your COVID PCR test, uh, I don't know whether the airlines would allow you to board the flight. That's a big question. Then, second thing is you have to definitely get a PCR test done in India at the airport. If you're going to do, you would be charged thousand rupees. But the problem is, it takes almost eight hours to get the results, and you have to wait at the airport. or you have to go for a institutional quarantine which i don't think any of us want to go because you have to pay a lot for that and uh, you won't be at home you have to stay at some other place i don't think that's uh, a great idea 
and uh, there is another option that if you pay 4500 rupees you get the result in within half an hour or one hour but all this mess uh, to spend a lot of time at the airport it's better to pay 1000 rupees or 1000 something or maybe 100 dollars 70 dollars or 80 dollars i don't know exactly some resorts are charging it seems 120 dollars some charge uh, some are charging like 80 dollars 70 dollars um, you have to get it done if you are traveling internationally there are some pains it's not that easy see when last 10 days i had to do two covid pcr tests the swab that's very irritating and this time in male they took from both my noses oof it was <laughs> like uh, you feel uh, i don't know it was very irritating not painful but it was not that pleasant so now i have all my things ready i have to check in at least 3 hours before that's the best thing so morning i'll be traveling uh, tomorrow and i will be continuing this vlog till i reach bangalore and i will share all the experiences that i have gone through so continue watching today i'll be just moving around in male i'll show you some places male is a beautiful city man see big the good thing about male i like is like it's a very small place you can walk to almost any place in male in 45 minutes and you get like restaurants you go to restaurants you have thai restaurant indian restaurant sri lankan restaurant you get north indian food south indian food you get um, italian food you get everything man in a small place and shopping there are so many supermarkets there are shops which would sell italian products european products indian products local products everything is available in a very small place and uh, the products from like the best standards of products you get and uh, it's really nice place uh, i really miss male this time i am not doing any big shopping because my bags are already full i had lots of clothes lying here and i had to carry those things so no big shoppings here and i don't want to pay a lot of money for the luggage i don't know how much they charge for extra luggage i have never paid extra luggage like recently i understand that they charge more than 5 6 dollars per kg guys packed up everything woke up early around 5 am got sufficient time to check all the things and pack it properly guys uh, done with the check in uh, everything went well i had around um, 6 kg extra 20 is the allowed uh, baggage and it was like 26 because i had some stuffs to carry from maldives so i had to pay 9 dollars per kg it was like 54 dollars but it's worth it because i was carrying uh, things which were really costly things so i didn't want to miss it and i could use it when i am in india uh you need to make sure that you are uh, registering on the indian portal the maldivian immigration portal two times they are checking the immigration and when you enter they are checking the scanning the qr code then make sure that uh, the um, pcr test is done it's done uh, less than 72 hours and uh, you have the passport number exactly on the report uh, i had a problem 
my old passport number was there in the report because I think I was already a registered person in that laboratory. So, but good thing was uh, my new passport had my previous passport number, so I could sort that out. Now, and after that, they gave us a form to be filled and submitted at the in Indian uh, arrival time. I don't know which department. Uh, it's all about our address and other declarations. Uh, maybe to monitor us once we are in India. So everything is fine, um, ready. I'll have a cup of coffee and an omelette and then proceed towards the gate. Uh, landed at the airport returning to home uh, everything went well uh, the documents everything if you have properly you shouldn't have any problem make sure that you have the COVID negative report with you otherwise you will have to stay back and give your sample and get the test done it is a bit of complicated you have waste a lot of time so best thing is have all your documents ready with you what do you need as I mentioned earlier you need to register on the Indian website and then you need to register on the Maldivian immigration then uh, you need your COVID negative results that's all uh, everything else uh, is fine it doesn't take much time they do check your temperature they do check uh, your oxygen level using the pulse oximeter and uh, nothing much nothing much they you have to fill a form uh, which I think it's the same what you filled online on the Indian website you can even show the digital part of that that also is fine so uh, but uh, now I'm not very sure that um, we need to do quarantine but when we fill the form they say that you may have to do the quarantine but in the form which they gave it was not written and nobody told us to do the quarantine also so Maldives I think there's no much of uh, problem uh, any problems we need to call a toll free number which they have given in the form nothing else everything went fine so if you're coming to Maldives you need to follow all these procedures so that's all for now hope this video is informative doing international trips these days are like not very easy uh, I am not really planning to travel or go for any international trip very soon because I feel it's too much too hectic too much of complicated 
let's let things get better and i definitely want to get the vaccination done uh, once i get vaccinated i think things will be much smoother so that's all for now bye take care show is going on not much many people but i just could see few aircrafts flying 